Who? Oh well, yeah, I'm getting bugged. Yo, this is stronger yeah, than I thought. You know what I just thought of right now? I'm gonna shit and smoking a cigar with the next two. What up, y'all? It's your boy, J and Tilo, once again, coming back to meet you with another Foggy Homies review. And today we got Buena Ventura. Buena Ventura. This was um, recommended by our local brick and mortar owner, Angelo. Shout out to the cigars for you. Let's get it popping. Let's do cutting light right now. Good. Cutting light right now, bro. Yeah, boy. Light that shit up. Loose and like so much air, right? So much smoke. Yeah. Ooh, it's really smooth. I like this kind of smoke. I like cigars that have good uh, air draw. Mm. And it creates a lot of smoke. Mm. So the wrapper, binder, and filler are all Nicaraguan. For this price, for this size, not bad. First time trying it. But yeah, first look. Uh, what do you think about the presentation? Uh, very simple, simple label. But I like how I like how it has a uh, gold triple cap, cap crown. Nice smooth brown finish. I really like the very wrapper. soft to the touch. Yeah. Like the color of the wrapper. Oh, very very nice. interesting. Yeah. It's like milk chocolate. But I think the description is uh, on point with you know, saying uh, earthy flavors and some sweetness and cocoa. Let's go into this first dirt and find out if it's like if it's a complex cigar. Will it change? Will it stay the same? Stay tuned. Draw, I can't, I can't ask for more. It's perfect. Like, I love the amount of smoke that you get. Yeah, you play around with the smoke. Yeah, this one actually seems like you know, someone like took a stick and put the hole right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you do one pull. Mm. Very, very good air. Yeah, I can't complain. Um, I had a little bit of canoeing, but it looks like it's. I mean, I had to touch it up a little bit. But it looks like it's burning pretty evenly now. Um, the ash is holding strong. Yeah, it's not getting heated. Oh, I, mean, I didn't notice, but this all looks like it is box pressed. And um, on the right here it says Hecho a mano, which means I made Sanula Cubana, which translates to Cuban seed. So, filler, binder, wrapper, all the grogging, but maybe the seed is from Cuba. I mean, reading the description, they did say that this is like supposed to be like a, a Cuban vibe. I wouldn't say a poor man's Cuban, but it is definitely cheaper. And yeah, Cuban. there you go, bootleg Cuban. So if you're tired on the money, you don't want to feel like spending 40, 50, 60 dollars or 100 dollars on a Cuban, then I think this is a good alternative to your Cuban fix. And those of you that like cocoa, oh, definitely a good smoke. So we just come in finishing up in the first third, getting into the middle third here, into the main course. Uh, any change in the flavor for you, Tito Puente? No, still good. Still see the ice. That cocoa, no, this is just all over the mouth right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't taste anything else except for the cocoa, to be honest with you. Yeah, the cocoa is definitely uh, consistently there. Um, very earthy, I feel. Not too complex, I don't think. It's pretty uh, straightforward, uh, straightforward blend. I don't think they're trying to do something, anything too crazy with this. Mm. But yeah, I mean, overall the experience has been very good so far. The dry is nice. Mine's perfect in structure. Yeah, I mean, in every box, a 10 or a box of 25, so you could, you know, you could potentially get one or two that's kind of tight in the draw, or the construction was bad, or... You know, any one of those little factors can definitely make a difference in your overall experience with the session, right? So, yeah. you don't know, forget it's hand rolled, so oh, yeah. there is all these uh, variations, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when we say cocoa, I'm not saying chocolate. I'm saying cocoa, like, like that cocoa powder. Like dark cocoa. Yeah, like, so don't think sweet. Think bitter cocoa. Right? Dark chocolate is like a little bit bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bitter taste. But not bitter like bitter melon. <laughs> but not sweet like chocolate. You know what I'm saying? It's like cocoa, but in smoke form, if that makes sense. Don't know what we're saying. Just go smoke one. Don't know what we're saying. You buy that shit, you cut that shit, you like that shit, and then you smoke that shit. And then you tell us how it was. Write in the comments. The motherfucking juicy trend. Choo -choo. Choo -choo. As we're uh, diving into the last third now, how's the drink for you? Mm, still good. Feel a little bit, a little bit of like, 
lightheaded. But definitely uh, the first third and the middle third, definitely a, a nice little punch, medium, medium body cigar. I felt like it was getting stronger, but I think I was tripping out because of my alcoholic beverage. Oh shit, look at that, see? I don't know if it's my burning, but right there. Could have been me, but I'm gonna fault the cigar a little bit because this doesn't usually happen to me. <laughs> but then compared to that, like this one, oh, that's just perfect. Just perfect for the whole. Apparently, they are known to be a little tight on the draw from time to time, so apparently people, uh, Cuban snobs, let's call them, they like to carry out. What is, what is the tool called again? Uh, perfect draw. Perfect draw tool, so basically, you just take a screw, literally make a new hole so that you can get more airflow. Yeah. Coming down to the nubs, any uh, final thoughts, my brother? I'll definitely smoke this on my own, on a solo session. Alright, the monster doing his thing. So, is this a rebuy for you? Oh, yeah, as I was saying, yeah, definitely a rebuy. Um, I think I'll have I'll have to have a couple in my club just for my solo session. For a go to, yeah, definitely. For a go to smoke. Very good size for a solo session. Mm -hmm. For me, rebuy, definitely. Maybe one or two, three at a time. But, um, box worthy? As for now, I'm gonna say no. Me too. But, no, not yet. Not yet, yet. So, my brother Tiro Puente! What is your final score? My final score is 84. <laughs> Bro, I pretty much agree with you on all the scores, bro. Well then, counting up the scores, you know what? For the first time, we have the same score. I will also agree with him on the 84 uh, score and rating on Kurivari. Kurivari Bueno Ventura. I'm totally botching it. I'm so sorry. Uh, well, yeah, overall, solid smoke, great flavor. Yes, thank you for joining us. Another Stogie Homies review. I am your host. My name is Jay, aka Say. This is my yeah, partner in crime, Tito Puente, yes, the motherfucking drummer from Jackson Five. Yes, sir. And the motherfucking out. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Comment, like, share this video. We'll see you in the next review.